Hello everyone and welcome back to one Arm Robber. In today's video, I'm going to show you three different ways to complete Lunenburg Liquors stealthily. And those methods being the noob way for all those players that are first starting out, the pro way for all those players that have some experience, and the expert way for all those players that just want to have a challenge. And the first method we're going to start with is the noob way. And the only tools that you'll need for this method is a lockpick and a suppressed weapon. So without further ado, let's get this one started. When we first start this heist, you want to grab your kit, grab your duffel bag, along with your lockpick, and from the truck, you want to take an immediate left and head down the alleyway. Once we enter the alleyway, at the end of these dumpsters, hang a right, take out your lockpick, and unlock this door to the immediate right here. Once you unlock this door, we're going to head inside, close the door right behind us, take out our lockpick, and unlock the door to the utility room. After unlocking this door, place it back in your duffel bag, turn off the alarm, grab your duffel bag, head up these stairs, head down the hallway to the very end, open up this door, and take out the guard watching the cameras. Next, you want to grab his phone and do the check-in. Now we don't have to worry about cameras throughout the rest of the heist. Now we're going to open up this window, jump out the window, go through this window, jump right through, go over to the table over here and grab the wine cellar key card off the table. Once we have that, we're going to open up this window. We're going to look down until we see a guard pass by. Once we see him pass by, we're going to jump out the window right behind him and turn off the security tag detector. Now we're going to take our duffel bag, head around the outside, past the dumpsters to the main street, hang a left, and now we're going to go to the front of the liquor store. Once we get to the front of the liquor store, we're going to go inside, take out this guard, zip tie any civilian that comes to investigate, like so. After we do that, we're going to zip tie some of these civilians, grab his phone, and do the check-in by the main desk. Also, don't forget to zip tie this civilian up here. Once we do that, we're going to take out a suppressed weapon, take out this guard, zip tie the civilian that goes to investigate, zip tie these two, grab his phone, and do the check-in on the wall over here. After all that, don't forget this last civilian just to be safe. Now we have taken over the front half of the liquor store. Now we're going to go back to our duffel bag, grab our duffel bag, head over to the wine cellar, take out the wine cellar key card, and scan it. And now we have access to the wine cellar. Now the first thing that we're going to do is take our lockpick and unlock all these doors. Now after we unlocked all the doors inside the wine cellar, we're done with the lockpick. And now I'll show you the codes for each of the doors that you have to enter. To disable the lasers for door 1, all you're going to do is hit blue. For door 2, all you're going to do is hit green, red. For door 3, all you're going to do is hit green, red, blue. For door 4, it is green, yellow. Door 5 is just green. And door six is green blue. Now what you want to do is when you get the first door, you're just going to open it, take your duffel bag, head down here, open up this door. So now your goal is to loot every bottle inside the wine cellar and bring it back to the truck. And to make this heist a little bit easier, you can do the one bag method. The one bag method all involves is just grabbing the first bag like normal, hit escape, let go of left click, hit escape again. Now you're holding the bag without holding left click. Now you want to grab your second bag and do the same thing. Escape, let go of left click, Hit escape again, and now you're holding two bags, and do the same with the rest of the bags. Once you have all the bags in your hand and you're ready to let them go, let go and quickly grab them like so. Once you do, you've brought in all the bags inside the liquor store with one trip. You can also use the one bag method to put all the loot into one bag. Simply just grab all the bags like normal, and then just vault over this table, and it should put all the loot into one bag. Then all you gotta do is just take one trip, Go back to the truck, let go, and it should explode with all the loot. And just quickly tap load to get it out of the bag. And after you're done looting the entire wine cellar, all we gotta do now is loot the front half. First off, you have these two walls outside the wine cellar, you have a bottle over here on this table, and you also have a bottle on the main desk here. And once you finally loot all the wine bottles from the front half of the liquor store, you can go back to the truck and end the heist. And this was the noob way of looting the liquor store stealthily using a lockpick. And now onto the pro method, and the only tools that you'll need for the pro method is a lockpick and a suppressed weapon. When you first start this heist, you want to grab your kit, grab your duffel bag along with your lockpick, then from the truck, you want to head to the front of the liquor store. Once we enter the front of the liquor store, take out this camera, take out this camera, take out the guard, and zip tie any civilian that goes to investigate. After doing so, grab the guard's phone, do the check-in, come up here, zip tie this civilian, come back down here, and zip tie this civilian. Next, we're going to shoot this camera, and no guard should be alerted. Now we're going to come down here, 
shoot the guard, zip tie the civilian that goes to check on him, zip tie these two, grab his phone, and do the check in. And finally, we're gonna zip tie this civilian, and now we have taken over the front half of the liquor store. Now we're gonna go back to our duffel bag, grab our duffel bag, take it immediate left, walk down the sidewalk, and unlock this door with our lock pick. After unlocking this door, head inside, go up the stairs. At the top of the staircase, don't forget about the wine cellar key card. Place it inside your duffel bag, head over to the window, open it, and jump right through. Next, we're gonna go over to this window, open it, jump right through. Open the door to the security room, but we're not gonna take out the guard in here. Instead, we're gonna take our duffel bag, head down the hallway, go down these stairs, and unlock the door to the utility room. Once we unlock this door, we're gonna head inside, turn off the alarm. We're gonna unlock this door to the alleyway, take out our gun, and we're gonna take out the guard out back here. After doing so, we're gonna grab his phone and do the check-in in the security room. Once we do that, we're gonna go back to our duffel bag, grab our duffel bag, come back out here, leave our duffel bag right here for right now, head down here, and disable the alarm for the security tags. Next, what we're gonna do is take out this camera, no guard should be alerted, grab our duffel bag, head down here, use our lockpick to unlock this door. After unlocking this door, we're gonna head inside, grab the wine cell key card, scan it, and we have one more camera to take out. It's the one inside the wine cellar. So take it out. No guard should be alerted. And now we don't have to worry about guards or cameras the rest of the heist. So just follow the same steps as method one, which is unlock all these doors with your lockpick first and then disable them and take all the loot back to the truck. And this was the pro method of loot and Lundenberg liquors stealthily. And now on to the last method, the expert method. And the only tools that you'll need for the expert method is a battering ram. When we start this heist, you wanna grab your kit and your battering ram. Then from the truck, you wanna head to the front of the liquor store. Once we get to the front of the liquor store, take out this camera, take out this camera, take out the guard and zip tie any civilian that goes to check on them. Once we do that, grab the guard's phone, do the check-in. Come up here, zip tie this civilian, come back down here and zip tie this civilian. Next, we're gonna shoot this camera, come down here, take out this guard, zip tie this civilian, and zip tie these two. Then you wanna grab the guard's phone and do the check-in. And finally, come back over here and zip tie this civilian. Now we've taken control of the front half of the liquor store. Next, you wanna grab your batting ram, take a left from the front door, head to the back alley, take a left, flip the switch, Grab the battering ram, and we're gonna break open this door and the utility room door. After we do that, flip the switch, take out the guard that comes to investigate, grab his phone, come up these stairs, go down the hallway, sprint through the door, and do the check-in in the security room. After we do that, we're gonna go back downstairs, grab our battering ram, Break open this window, jump out the window, toss our battering ram outside to the front door. Good enough. We're gonna open this window, hop right through. We're gonna grab the wine cellar key card, jump back off this window, jump off this ledge, go through the front door, and we're gonna use the key card to scan the wine cellar. After we scan the card, we have access to the wine cellar, but there's one more camera to take care of. We'll just take it out. And now we have access to the wine cellar and the front half of the liquor store. And did you know you can actually break open these doors with the laser still active and not do the alarm. Simply just break open the door like so and the alarm should not go off. This will make this heist go a little bit faster since you don't have to pick the locks for each of the doors. And just like that, we've broken all the doors in the wine cellar. Now you have to be careful because the lasers are active. So if you walk through them, the alarm will go off. And the only thing that's left to do is just bring all the wine bottles back to the truck. All right, this was the expert way of looting Lundenberg liquor stealthily, just using a battering ram. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. If you want to see a funny video, click the video on the left. If you want to see more tutorial videos, click the video on the right. And like always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.